This is Give to Gus Davis Day, and I have never been so excited for a segment for multiple reasons, starting with the fact that we're joined by Steve, the head of dining services here, and fun fact, my sixth cousin. Uh, very cool. Hi, Steve. How are you? Hi, Tane. It's great it's to have you back on campus. I love being here. And this, uh, we are actually in dining services right now because you all are, are sort of we're celebrating generations of food here at Gustavus. And you have put together, I think, the most incredible spread I have ever seen at Gustavus of Gustavus Dining Services through the years. Look at all of this. This is super cool. And we should just say, starting at the very beginning, uh, we have a couple things here of Evelyn Young. For folks who are maybe younger and don't know, who was Evelyn Young? Evelyn Young, a long time and famous uh, food service director at Gustavus Adolphus College for many, many, many years, decades, and a sweetheart, a wonderful person, and a baker extraordinaire. And so what we wanted to do is highlight some of her bakery uh, favorites, and starting with her family cookbook, All This in Rye Bread too. Um, it's out of print now, so we won't be able to get it, but if you give me a call or contact somebody at Gustavus, we can find a recipe for you. That is super cool. And we should just say, you didn't put these glasses on just for the fashion sake. These are very much Evelyn Young style <laughs> glasses. Okay, so Evelyn Young probably started here in the 50s, she right? 50s, maybe even as early as late 40s. I uh, don't know for sure. She was a student uh, graduate in the 30s. And so, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my recollection. Um, and she and her husband, Gus, a uh, long time um, Gustavus personalities. Gus was the basketball uh, coach for many, many years. Uh, just such a long family tradition with the Sponbergs. Anne Sponberg Peterson is a niece of uh, Evelyn Young. And so, so much connection. And that is and an here we outstanding. Are. It's 1955, everybody. <laughs> hey, I'm at Gustavus and I want to eat some sweets. What do you got for me? Evelyn Young. Well, before you get your sweets, you're going to have to have your rye bread. Ah, oh, man. I know, so we got to have the bread first, and then we move on to some almond cream pie. Oh, wow, look at this. Is it, uh, look at this almond, they it, made it's two of them. It's beautiful, and one of Ev Evelyn's favorites, and of course you were going to do that, Tane. Mm. Um, I thought you might, because mm. so we didn't even put out forks for a reason. That's fine. And so, moving on to- Moving on to the 1960s, Oh. It's fine. Yeah, um, down with war and um, other social ills, man. All up, right. Yeah, and up with carrot cake. Up with carrot cake. Right. Mm. And Look Saint and Saint Lucia rolls. Oh, so these right from Sweden. Of course, um, we need to uh, pay uh, pay respect to our Swedish heritage. And here, Tane, oh. we've actually got a fork. Oh for you. well, that's fine. <laughs> Oh, mm. Evelyn would be so proud. It does. It tastes like uh, an Italian maiden <laughs> who somehow found her way to Sweden. This right. is great. These look it, and you can also they're, they're beautiful. You can have them as like earpieces then later. Okay, so we made it through the 1960s. Evelyn, we should say she was here cooking a long time. So we're moving into 1970s. Come on down this way. 1970s and 80s. Evelyn left uh, the dining service about 1981. Um, then moved over to the advancement office. So she stuck around for a long time, uh, drove every day from Edina, knew every highway patrolman on the way between here and there, of course. Wait, why? Uh, uh, because they called her White Lightning for a reason. Oh, Not only wow. because she had bright white hair, she drove a bright white Cadillac and every highway patrolman knew her between here and there. That's cool. So it's 1970, uh, all of my clothes are tacky, but uh, the lights are bright and I can disco and eat. What am I eating oh, here? Oh, chocolate gateau. Oh, wow, look at this. Th that is, uh, th there's no flour in that. You don't have to worry about any gluten allergies with that one in 1970s and 80s, okay? It's all chocolate, it's all good. Um, and moving on to. She was here all the way into the 80s, we were talking another about. Another Swedish favorite. Yeah, oh, sorry, Brad. The, I don't want to get hair in you. The, the Kringle, again. Oh, the Kringle, this is a yes, Kringle. another almond. This is good. This is the me generation, and so I'm taking this for me. Uh, yeah, greed is good. It's 1984, everybody. Apple computers are brand new and cool, uh, which they still are. Mm. Oh wow, it does kind of crinkle. Like, 
very almondy. It's very, thank you. Okay, that's fine. That's good. All right. Oh, wow. This is more sugar than I usually have for breakfast. Um, okay, that's good. And then we're moving along to the 90s, baby. I'm going to put on my, uh, I don't actually, I never really watch Friends. This is not either a rate. It's like if Rachel and Monica had like a baby, uh, this would be the haircut. No, that doesn't work at all. Anyway. It's more Austin Powers if you ask me. Thank you. It's 1990 something now, and what are we having? Well, so as far as we know, the Frost Your Own Cookies had some origin in the 90s. We don't know really? exactly when they turned up. We've done some research. We can't figure it out. It doesn't matter. They're super good. They're still popular today. Uh, everybody knows Frost Your Owns. Along with our pumpkin dessert, of course, for the season, we've got pumpkins and gourds and a pull apart cinnamon rolls that our students love today and it would not be complete without our very own Gustavus waffle bar and they are amazing. They, I remember the waffle bar when I first came to Gustavus being this amazing thing. You get to college and you're like, wait, I can make my own waffle whenever I want. And now it even has the Gustavus logo on it. This is a pretty magical place. What could be better? What could be better? Steve, I cannot thank you enough for putting all of this together for us and taking us through literally uh, 50, 60 years worth of dining services history, honoring Evelyn Young. Thank you so much. This is absolutely wonderful. Um, if this brings back any warm, wonderful memory from you, or you just want to, you know, uh, give me some credit for putting on all these different wigs now, please. Today's the day. Give to Gustavus. That's what it's all about. So thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, everybody. All right.